What's up everyone, Tyler Medeiros here and welcome to Tyler Medeiros TV. For those of you who are not subscribed, you can subscribe down below so you don't miss a video and for those of you that are, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be getting into something that's really interesting and for those of you that have been subscribed for a while now, you know if I ever come across something that is interesting or something that I think you guys may find cool, I always want to bring it to your guys' attention or tell you about it or show you. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video, but before we get into it, if you're not following me on my social medias like Instagram and Twitter, go ahead and do that now. You can follow me on Instagram at the real Tyler Medeiros and on Twitter at Tyler Medeiros. Also on another note, for those of you that may not know I go live right here on Tyler Medeiros TV every Saturday at 7 p.m. where you guys can tune in and play a game with Haley and I and for those of you that have been tuning into game night I just want to thank you guys so much for making it something that's so amazing but yes make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I go live or when I upload but right now let's get into today's video now the other day I was just browsing around on the internet and I actually came across something that was really interesting and I think you guys will find it interesting as well. Now some of you may have heard of this before and some of you may not believe what I'm about to tell you. As I began to dig into this story, I realized that there was actually multiple cases of where this had happened. The most recent case happening in 2017. Now the most recent case had happened in Grand Rapids, Michigan when the police arrived to a crime scene. When the police arrived on scene, they seen a couple that seemed to have been shot. The husband sadly ended up passing while the wife survived really badly injured. Now when the police first arrived to the scene, they thought the couple may have been victim to a robbery or break-in. Now this is where things get really interesting. Upon further investigation and a statement from a very unlikely witness, the police were able to figure out who was responsible for the crime and convict them. Now you guys may not believe what I'm about to say next, but the witness that actually helped lead authorities into figuring out what had happened was the couple's pet parrot. Now I know what you guys are thinking, how does a parrot help solve a crime? Well. The parrot was actually witness to the incident. And when authorities arrived on the scene, the parrot began to talk. After the parrot began to make some really mind-blowing statements, it caught the authorities' attention. The couple's parrot was a Congo Gray Parrot, also known as the African Gray Parrot. Now it is said to be one of the most highly intelligent parrots, performing at a cognitive level of a 4-6 to six year old human child in some tasks. Tests have shown that the Gray Parrot can actually learn number sequences along with recognizing people's voices and the faces that make them. Scientists have performed experiments that show the Gray Parrot's ability to learn more than a hundred words. It can even distinguish different objects, colors, shapes, and even different materials. With that being said, the parrot's eyewitness statement resulted in the wife being convicted for the murder of her husband. Now, like I had said earlier, there's actually multiple cases of a parrot witnessing a situation and authorities taking that into consideration. Legend has it that one day an owner of an animal rehabilitation center was visited by a friend from New Orleans with a beautiful macaw parrot in a cage. The parrot's name was Echo and there's actually a little bit of irony to that name. He was medium sized with green and red shoulders shoulders and knew dozens of words. When the parrot arrived to the center, they were told that Echo needed to lay low for a little bit and the presence of the parrot at the center should be kept a secret. Now I know what you guys are probably thinking, why was the center told to keep the presence of this parrot a secret? Well, the parrot's former owner was actually a New Orleans crime boss. The bird was apparently at the wrong place at the wrong time and witnessed something that he shouldn't have. And not only did he witness something that he shouldn't have, but he also wouldn't stop talking about it. With the bird knowing and saying too much, Echo could have possibly became a target. Now because Echo isn't a person, he couldn't enter a witness protection program. Not officially at least. So this was their next best option to make sure that the parrot was protected. 
Now the whereabouts of Echo today are actually unknown. Like I said earlier, anytime I come across something unique and interesting I want to show or tell you guys and this was one of the most unique stories that I've ever come across. I'm going to go ahead and close out today's video here. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, give it a nice big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And remember, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss it when I upload. And when I go live, I go live every Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure you join us right here on Tyler Madero's TV for game night. And guys, again, thank you so much for all the love and support. We got some amazing things coming to the channel. You guys will not want to miss it. And again, just thank you guys so much for all the love. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.